Hi, my name is Brent Colby, and I would like to share a few thoughts about group level change. A full bibliography will be shared at the end of this presentation, along with a way to get a hold of me or my presentation notes. Feel free to share this with others as you see fit. One of the most important levels of change within an organization takes place within the group. Also referred to as a task or work group, these smaller cohorts serve as the context and locus for the interface between the individual organization, primary social relationships, and determination of the employee's sense of organizational reality. This presentation will look at two aspects of group level change. First, we will discuss what group level change involves. Second, we will see how group level change is beneficial to organizations. Let's begin by looking at what group level change actually involves. Group level change is different from organizational change because it interfaces directly with the individual. This requires a more personal approach and begins with a shared goal or mission. The shared goal helps establish a unified vision for the future and helps align the work efforts of the team. A second aspect of what group level change involves is that of group awareness. Groups possess the greatest integrity as interdependent units. They function as teams when they learn how to rely on each other and on the strengths of the individual. In order for teams to function most effectively, they must develop a working knowledge of each other's potential contribution to managing a particular problem and a willingness to share that knowledge within a team or a collaborative group. This problem-solving ability is dependent on group awareness. Burke suggests that group awareness may be enhanced through a variety of team-building exercises, which enhance the ability to set goals, analyze work performance, examine group functionality, and examine interpersonal relationships. Another interesting aspect of group strength may be found in group competition. Research by Sheridan and Williams describe how constructive competition may enhance the performance of certain groups as they learn together. The competitive nature of team cooperation is a common aspect of Western culture and can be utilized to fuel greater gains in group functionality. Let's move on to how group level change is beneficial to organizations as a whole. Groups are an integral part of any organization. Their composite ability to change represents the organizational change as a whole. Rubin and Beckard describe a series of benefits to the organization, which include greater work productivity, increased clarity of role expectations, intrinsic mechanisms for negotiating change, greater flexibility in decision making, and more widely shared influence and participation. Each of these aspects help organizations increase functionality and initiate changes within the organization. The ability for groups to make decisions independently from one another is a critical aspect of the group experience. Group change and organizational change is dependent on this in many ways. Burke states that the more work units in the organization are involved in helping to plan and implement change, the more they are likely to embrace rather than resist the organizational change effort. As stated previously, the organization is made of groups and an organization's ability to change is dependent on the group's ability to learn and adapt. Thank you for listening to a few thoughts on group level change. You can see here a list of the references used to build this presentation. Also, you can contact me or find the notes to this and other leadership talks at brentcolby.com. Thanks again for listening.